The character creator is a paid program and the human anatomy is an additional paid pack. In this video I will also share a free alternative source for obtaining zombies. You'll find the timestamps and the link in the video description. Additionally, you can get a free trial of character creator with the link in the description as well. To create the zombies in the animation I went into human anatomy inside character creator 4 and there is this male 10, this skinny character. Double click on it. Now I'm just going around playing with the sliders and trying to make him look creepier. There is a lot of customization we can do inside character creator. Now that's looking pretty good. Now let's go into the skin effects. Inside skin and makeup pack we can find a lot of skin effects we can use. In the animation I use the scales and inside realistic human skin pack we can find a not so human skin effect but yeah, siren. We can add this on top. And finally, let's add this reptile arm, which is funnily enough, again, inside realistic human skin pack. But if you plan to use this zombie in a close up, we can bump the texture quality up to 4K. Now, let's get out of the skin editor by unchecking this activate editor button. I have some animations from Mixamo. So let's try this walking animation. I can just drag and drop it onto the character, press convert all. And this will bring our animation to the character. Now let's export this guy out. File, export, FBX, clothed character. I will choose Blender, Mesh and Motion, Max Texture Size, let's make it 4K, Convert Image to JPEG, and we can turn this into 24 because that's what I'll be using. Current animation, all. Click on export and choose a place to export it to. I suggest creating a separate file for this. Inside Blender, you can just import it as FBX, but I don't recommend that because the character creator characters come with complex materials and it takes a lot of time to set them up if you import them as FBX. So I suggest using this add-on to import the characters. Click import character, find the FBX and double click on it. Wait for it to load and when it comes to Blender it sets up this complex node material and everything comes in correctly. But I always feel the specular is too high so I will go into specular map and turn this into 0.1. For the eyes in the animation, here's what I did. I click on the eyes, go into character build settings here, and then choose only selected and basic. Rebuild basic materials. This makes the eyes look better, in my opinion. I will create a diffuse. Mix the two, and we already get that creepy eye effect. For the thing in their forehead, this is what I did. Object data properties, open UV maps, click on plus. Now we have a new UV map here. Go into the head material, create a diffuse. Let's mix the two. And as the mix factor, we will put in an image. Bring in a PNG image, connect it into the mix factor. And to the vector, we have to plug in a UV map. And we will choose the second UV we just created. If we go into UV editor, we can unwrap the certain bit we need. So this, let's try placing our logo there. Again, it looks stretched, so Let's do this and unwrap this way. That doesn't work. Q projection. That kind of works. I will center it. Go into the image and change this repeat to clip so the image doesn't repeat. We can also plug in the image into the diffuse. Press Ctrl I to invert the selection. This is everything else. Now I can put them somewhere outside of this image. If you put them on the image, they become the image. So I will put them outside. Now it seems flipped, so we have to flip these. And as you can see, you can put a PNG image on any texture you like. We can also make this emission. This is what I did for the animation. It was an emission texture. If you want a free zombie army alternative, you can use the zombies from Mixamo. Download them with the animations, completely free. A couple of notes on models from Mixamo. Disable auto smooth or your viewport display performance will suffer. And fix up their materials. They always come with metallic, which I suggest turning off, and too specular. In Blender, I used two separate techniques. One, using geometry nodes, which I'll show you step by step how. And the second one is using procedural crowds add-on. With this add-on, I can draw a curve. And this becomes a path for the zombies to run on. My geometry nodes technique is this. 